After a half dozen years leading the Diocese of Dodge City, Bishop Gerber was called back home. On February 9, 1983, he was installed as the sixth bishop of the Diocese of Wichita. When he returned from Dodge City, he, he was a different person. We hardly recognized him. I mean, he, he was always kind of that quiet bureaucrat. He was kind of a numbers guy when, before he became bishop and went to Dodge City. And he came back a much more confident person. And one of the things I noticed was his, his keen sense of listening. I always felt that when you were talking to him and he talking to you, that I was the only one, you know. He had that gift to make you feel so much at home. It was clear from the onset that this man was a retail, not a wholesale bishop. You know, he wanted to be where the customers were, where the people were. And so he, he, he was uh, very frequently out of the office, not because he wasn't working, but because he, it was easier for him to be out with the priests and out with the parishes and, and doing all that sort of thing. When he came back as Bishop of Wichita, I was in the parish in Halstead at the time, and we had just finished completing construction of a new parish hall. So he came to the dedication, and we had a head table fixed up with the, uh, his seat up there high in the middle. He didn't ever go there, he stayed with the people. He just worked the crowd all night long and didn't even stop to eat. And I thought, boy, that's a quality of his that I didn't notice before. How it, he really blossomed into his pastoral care and especially his listening skills. Bishop Gerber used that gift in an impactful manner. A couple of years into his leadership of the Wichita Church, he began a listening process which would change the diocese forever. I think he had matured as a bishop before he came back to Wichita, and he was not interested in bringing in a canned program from outside. He wanted to build it from the ground up with the people and the priests who were there. There was a fear that I was going to bring Renew from Dodge City here and impose it on Wichita. And I had no idea of doing that. That was simply not my way of, of operating. So we held uh, two listening sessions. He would listen as intently as he could to people and priests. He would uh, also listen at the same time to a, a more hidden voice, you know, a more quiet voice. And that was the voice of the Lord speaking to him. I, I think that at the same time that the God, God was working in me to achieve some objective for the people, he was working in the people and the priests. And it was then a matter of collaboration and a matter of listening together and coming to the conclusion that God wanted. It's as simple as that. A short time after the listening sessions wrapped up, Bishop Gerber installed the pavement outside the chancery with an inscription from 1 Peter, instructing the faithful to put their gifts at the service of one another. That's essentially what he was listening for. What were the gifts of this parish, of this priest, of this family? He was listening for indications of the gifts and he was going to challenge them to do that very thing. Put your gifts at the service of one another.